this is lesson uh, one on the boy in the striped pajamas. We are going to be learning about how to organize our thoughts for the essays. So uh, what is going to happen is inside your booklets you have a page that looks like this, kind of, and a page that sort of looks like this as well. Uh, these are both graphic organizers to start organizing your thoughts on your essay about uh, the character of your choice. So as an example, we're going to do the father from the boy in the striped pajamas. So on this page, what I'm looking for is a physical description of the character. So what the character might look like. So uh, the dad in my head, I might look through the book and look for an example of what he looks like. Uh, in my own imagination, I imagine him as a soldier who's probably pretty rugged and strong looking. Uh, so if I don't have that information, I'm just going to describe what my imagination of this character looks like. Um, again, we don't want to pull up uh, information of what the character looks like in the movie because that's the movie we are studying, the book, and not the movie. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say the dad is a stern looking man who is strong and I guess uh, and tall. So I just give a little bit of a description of what the dad might look like. Then in this area you can do a little sketch of your character. So I don't actually know what the dad uh, really looks like but I might just draw him. Uh, I'm not a very good drawer as all of you know. I might just do a little drawing of the dad in his uniform. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Brutal. Yep, that's strong, strong dad. Give him a little armband with his Nazi symbol. And I guess, I don't know, here's, we'll just give him a little bit of a description. Uh, and nothing, I'm not expecting much for the description or the, uh, the drawing. This is just for you to start getting ideas down about how you're going to describe the character's looks and what they do. So I might say, um, in my introductory paragraph, I might be like, oh, the dad is a uh, Nazi soldier working for Germany. He's very passionate about his work. Um, he is very invested in impressing Hitler throughout the novel and that kind of thing. Um, so this page, I'm going to just get down a little description and a drawing, and then I'm going to go ahead and write down the three character traits that I have chosen for my essay. So, uh, for example, I might say, well, you know what, uh, he is a very powerful man. So he's powerful, he is rude, and he is a strict dad. So I'm going to throw the three character traits that I plan on using for my essay down at the bottom. And then on the next page, I'm going to start pulling out quotes or examples that I see. So just like in class where we had talked about uh, that we can understand characters based on their actions, their thoughts, and the words that they say to other characters, that's exactly what this graphic organizer is for. So this is for you to collect evidence on how your characters act a certain way that they are. Um, for example, um, if we want to explore the fact that the dad is a very strict dad, um, maybe we pull out some moments where he says things are, that are really strict. So for example, in chapter, I think it's five, um, we see Bruno talking to his dad and his dad makes him salute him and do the Nazi salute. Uh, to his dad and then you see them even like shake hands at the beginning. So these are all actions that are that show that he is a strict dad. Um, so in here I might find in the book I might literally go in and find that moment in chapter 5 and write down uh, you know he, he shakes his dad's hand. And I would find the 
exact writing where it says that in the book uh, and put it in quotations with the, uh, with the page number. So make sure you are keeping the page number as you go down uh, because you're going to need to do this for your essay to show exactly where you found this information so that I know you weren't just pulling this information out of thin air. Um, what they think, we don't really get a lot of thoughts of what the dad thinks about, um, but I'm sure if I looked through the chapters enough, I could probably find some of his thoughts. Uh, I do have items that he says. So for instance, as mentioned many, many times in the book, um, he says, the office is out of bounds at all times with no exceptions. <laughs> this shows he is a strict dad uh, because he it has these rules that Bruno has memorized and he always says, well, I shouldn't interrupt people um, or I shouldn't go into the office. I shouldn't um, be rude to other people with no exceptions. So out of bounds at all times with no exceptions. I would write that down as something that the dad says. I know I'm not doing this right now, but I would actually find the specific page where this happens and write it down with quotations and the page number so that when I'm writing my essay, I can actually um, have that factual information and examples to support my reasonings that he is a strict, powerful, and rude person. Um, so this is all to help you organize your thoughts as you try to explain what your character is like. I hope this was helpful. There'll be more information posted soon uh, about how these essays will actually be written. Right now, the first step is to pick those three character traits and make sure that you get them uh, down and ready so that you can begin to collect evidence to support your reasoning. Have a good day or night. I will see you next time.